Hello guys, this is Linus Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Today I'm gonna talk about the power, not the RF power in the sky, but the DC power down on the ground, the Power Queen. The Power Queen is a battery company from China offering a variety of lithium iron phosphate batteries at a budget price. This video is not sponsored by the Power Queen. The company just offered a 100 amp hours battery for an honest and unbiased review. That's what I'm doing. Wow, we've got very nicely packed documents, user manual and all the specs packed into a waterproof pouch, I guess. We'll take a look into the documents a bit later. What's here? Tear me off. Hi, here are your post bolts. Here they are. And here what's left? It's the battery itself. The cardboard box is much bigger than the battery itself. Two foam supports, keeping battery nicely sitting in the box. All right. And here is the battery. 12.8 volts. 100 amp hours, premium 2, power queen, the carrying strap. All right, it weighs in something like eight and a half kilos or around 19 pounds. Okay, good weight for a battery of 100 amp hours capacity, isn't it? But the mini premium 2 is so lightweight that I can easily carry it in my one hand to the garage where I'm gonna conduct some measurements and testing. All right, so here we are in the garage. I'm gonna conduct now the battery test using the battery tester. Before conducting the tests, I will charge the battery up to be fully charged and then we will see. Okay, and here we have all the selection of things we need. Four post bolts, so we only need two, so two are spare ones, which is very nice to hear. And these are the insulation caps, which we only need to use when we don't use the battery. When we use the battery, we don't need to use these insulation caps, but please keep them somewhere, you know, at hand. So, by the way, the handle conveniently could be you know disattached all you need to do is just disattach it and you can disattach from both sides all right guys before battery is getting ready let's take a look at the papers so bedienungsanleitung für anfänger hinweis vor der verwendung hmm that's in german user manual for beginners all right so Luckily, it's not only in German, which, which is actually very nice. The company has got their own representative, European representative in Germany, as far as I understand. So, German language, it sounds very nice. Actually, this is very nice, you know, uh, marketing, I would say. Do's and don'ts, connecting precautions, and notice before use operating precautions. It's, it's, it's very useful, actually. You can, you know, put it on the wall in your garage somewhere on your camper. They even supplied some stickers, which you can also stick anywhere you wish, you know, on your car, on your van, on your RV. Don't install the battery with posts upside down. That's good advice. And do not disassemble the battery do not disassemble the battery guys that's what youtubers do every time they get a battery well i'm not gonna tear down or disassemble the battery this time because i believe everything's nice inside because i'm not the first one doing this review the product manual the full manual is also pretty useful lots of good information the Rated capacity is 100 amp hours. Uh, total energy, you know, when you 
convert the amp hours and you multiply it uh, by volts and you get 1.28 kilowatt hours or or 1280 watt hours that's that's okay that's pretty powerful battery management system board which is installed in into the battery inside the battery is 100 amps uh, so charge method continuous current and continuous voltage that's very important that's the difference you know from the lead acid battery charging algorithm so they are a little bit similar but 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 not quite uh, it can stand maximum for five seconds very high discharge rate at 250 amps so temperature range charge from zero to 50 degrees so it's not supposed to be charged in the under zero celsius degrees in the freezing temperatures and uh, there's no low temperature sensor installed in this battery well but i mean for me personally it's not a problem because i'm not gonna use uh, this battery as my radio van in the freezing temperatures in the winter in the winter it stands over there and basically very rarely I, I i i just you know start the engine and you know try to drive somewhere but but it's not you know not normal for me to use this battery in the freezing temperatures but uh, discharge rate is from minus 20 to plus 60 degrees celsius or minus 4 fahrenheit to 140 fahrenheit which is all right so you can use the battery in the freezing temperatures if if, if just so happens um and uh, well up to minus 20 degrees it's still still working there's a very useful information the battery capacity so the state of charge you know and uh, referring to the voltage you can measure if you don't have a shunt for instance uh, with which you know you can measure and trace all the parameters of your battery you can just uh, measure the resting so-called resting voltage when uh, when there's no load there's no charging there's no discharging and the battery been sitting after charging uh, let's say for three hours then you have the resting voltage uh, on the posts and you can measure measure this voltage and this voltage will correspond maybe not so precisely as the metering shunt but it will correspond uh, uh, to the level to the state of uh, charge if you measure like 13.3 up to 33 so that's 75 percent of uh, of charge um, the level of charge of the battery uh, if if you measure 13.15 to 13.2 volts on the on on the posts uh, then it's 50 percent of charge you know the battery is half charged and uh, if you measure like let's say 10 to 12 volts only that's an alarm and it means you know state of charge is zero so battery is fully discharged another very useful information you know in the in the user manual because it's you know really like you know for a user you use the battery you read the user manual and you can you know have all the information which you can keep in your head all the time so it's it's in the manual keep the manual just you know in the place you know where you keep it <laughs> product manual is well written good english understandable good german understandable too so our queen is 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 doing pretty nice is doing pretty nice and it's good marketing and i hope a good uh, quality of the battery so now it's good time just to go in there back to the garage and do the discharge experiment so now the battery has been charged and has been rested for a few hours after the full charging so now let's measure the voltage of the battery 13.45 volts so it's more than 13.33 volts it means accordingly to the user manual the battery is full it means we can start discharging process of it and this is our main experiment i'm gonna use this battery battery monitor device which has got you know up to 150 watts to discharge the battery 
so this means I'm gonna run 10 amps current from the battery into this device and the device will dissipate all, all, all the all the power and will show on the screen everything I need to know and this is gonna take maybe up to 10 hours if this is really a hundred amp hours battery let's establish 10 amps level 10 amps 12.9 volts under the load from here the video is getting pretty boring as everything goes very smoothly the battery tester provides stable continuous 10 amps load and the battery answers showing a no less stable voltage dynamics most of the time during these 10 hours the battery was well above 12 volts ranging from 12.8 in the beginning to 12.4 volts in the middle and it was still at 12.1 volt after 9 hours of work and 90% of battery used up what does it mean for ham radio well, look, the average transceiver like ICOM IC7300 needs a power supply in the range from 11.7 volts to 15.8 volts. That's in the specs of the radio. So, good news. The power queen would feed the ICOM IC7300 until getting depleted for 98%. Provided ICOM IC7300 average current draw would be around 10 amps i could operate the radio non-stop for nine hours 45 minutes fantastic what a field day it could be and now attention achtung after 10 hours and seven minutes the battery management system switches the battery off at the voltage of 10.4 volts and the battery capacity reading almost 102 amp hours which makes 1277 watt hours of energy released the most important test passed it is a real 100 amp hours battery i've been testing uh, this battery applying quite mild amount of current of discharge so lithium iron phosphate battery these are not a starter batteries these are you know workhorses like you know steady and steady and steady you know mild uh, load applied but it will run all the day steadily until it you know discharges also nicely and gradually 10 amps of load is actually an average load of your 100 watts transceiver when you know it consumes like maybe rated the, the average transceiver is rated like 18 to 20 amps of uh, current it, it it does take that amount of current in the specs but you, you you know you don't keep the transceiver you know key down all all the time uh, so you use the transceiver the transceiver like you know half of time you transmit half of time you listen so basically uh, in the end the load on the battery out of these 20 20 amps rated for in the specs for, for, for the transceiver in the reality the final load combined load average load on the battery is around 10 amps so today the power queen mini uh, proved that it, uh, it 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 can run this style of operation so which was pretty close to the ham radio operation and it did the job good so thank you very much that's it guys please leave your comments in the comment section what do you think about this type of the batteries so are you using them uh, are you going to replace your uh, your lead acid batteries in your so to say car installation or your van or your rv installation that's very interesting to know because we are on the on the verge of revolution technological revolution in the batteries world and that's very nice you know to be part of it and to be to be a part of a testers team uh, so that's it for today thanks for watching please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet so and you'll be first to know what's what, what's coming up uh, what's coming new on my channel what will be the next story for this battery 
so how this battery will behave in the in the field you know connected to my transceivers as it is now thanks for watching 73 see you later in my next video 73 this is linas lima yankee to hotel cheerio